All right now, hello and welcome. Take a look at this view behind me. It is absolutely stunning. Anyway, welcome to Verona. Come along and explore it with me. I'll show you the best things to see and do, and of course, a little bit of history along the way, as always. Let's start the adventure. Let's go. Hello and good morning. Bloody hell, I look rough. It's another early start today. Anyway, if you're new to the channel, hello, I am Ben. Travel around loads of Europe, loads of cities. Hopefully somewhere a bit more exciting soon. But for now, we're stuck in Verona, what a shame. But we explored around yesterday. We were in one of the main squares and it is absolutely lovely. You can see we've got an old entrance, one of the old city wall gates just there. And right in front of me, which I'll show you later, we've got a Roman amphitheater. So the place is absolutely full of history plenty of places to eat, drink, lots of things to see, and some beautiful architecture and some beautiful views. So there's going to be lots in this video. Let's get started. Beating the crowds and getting started before the city comes to life, we begin at the Piazza Bra, the largest square in Verona, lined with colourful old palaces, but crowned most notably by Verona Arena, an incredibly well-preserved Roman amphitheatre. And just a short walk across the cobbled road to the outskirts of the plaza is a lovely set of Roman looking sandstone buildings. Set with fancy decorative pillars and pediments, those stamped with the surprisingly late date of 1929. Though a little older, stands next to it the Portoni della Bra, a grand 15th century gate which would have been part of the old defensive city walls. And as I'm sure you can imagine, would have been the ultimate welcome one of the largest and best preserved Roman arenas. And to my surprise, I find a fellow Englishman perched upon the wall, going by the name of William Shakespeare, attributed for his two works set in Verona, one of course being Romeo and Juliet. Although there is actually doubt cast upon him ever actually setting foot in Italy. Fairy tales aside, I skirt around some of these old looking city walls which I think still stand from the Middle Ages, before crossing the ancient arena once more, on my way to venture throughout the city. Look, Louis Vuitton, I will not be going in there because it's closed, obviously. I'll be back later, spend all my millions. But first, exposure fix. Let's go through there, it looks pretty. Now, apart from being mocked by style and fashion way out of my league, it wasn't hard to tell I was in the most quintessential Italian street, with bright buildings, colourful window shutters and overhanging balconies decorated with flowers too. Now I've just made my way into the most beautiful square, now it is more of a rectangle, but forgive me, I think it's called Piazza delle Erbe, my Italian is probably awful. Anyway, we've got like, I'm hoping I've, it's in shot, the most amazing 12th century tower just up there that it was apparently struck by lightning in the early 15th century and had to be restored and it was also enlarged. We've got a building over there with some lovely frescoes and then sort of balconies over that way with flowers hanging down. I definitely wouldn't need to tell you that I'm in Italy, would I? And just before we carry on, there's a really cool hidden gem here you could easily miss. And a rather strange man who's been following me around all day. Now by complete chance, when I was just wandering over there, I spotted something rather strange. Can you see it? Right there, just under that arch, is what is thought to be 
the rib of a whale, and it's been there since the 17th, or possibly even as early as the 15th century. Now, apparently it was to advertise a shop down here somewhere, which sold exotic goods from all over the world. There you go, how is that for a hidden gem? So if you come to Verona, see if you can find the whale bone. When I mean, it's not hard now that I've told you where it is, but still, little challenge. Moving on, unfortunately, it's still too early to enjoy the best view in the city from this beautiful tower. So aimlessly wondering it is, as I find myself passing the supposed house of Romeo without even realising. But, more importantly, I make it back to Verona Arena, the most significant landmark in the whole city, an ancient Roman amphitheatre, with its imposing walls and structure, proving an enduring marvel as it has stood the passage of time. Crafted from the limestone of nearby mountains, it was originally built to host exciting gladiator contests, and could hold up to 30,000 people to watch the brutal entertainment. But there's a slight problem. I can't find the entrance and then soon devastatingly realise it's shut on a Monday, so I have to drown my sorrows with some traditional Italian food. Anyway, can we have the nice music back on please? Back to the tower it is. I find myself climbing up a few too many steps, but there's a slight problem. He's following me again. <laughs> Thankfully, I'm absolutely rapid and managed to get away from him. Oh, and here's some amazing views. Descending back down the tower. A few minutes walk away is one of the most delightful scenes in all of Verona. And believe it or not, the best is still yet to come. It's been a bloody long morning, and I think it's time for a nap. In the mid-afternoon, I find myself at the intriguing Ponte Scaligero, a fascinating bridge, originating in the 14th century, built as a get-out plan by the unpopular Lord of Verona at the time. Although unfortunately, this enchanting bridge managed to stay intact until World War II, when the Germans destroyed it upon retreat in 1945. Though thankfully still remaining its medieval impression, the bridge leads to its counterpart, Castel Vecchio. Making my way inside the castle, the courtyard seems surprisingly simple, yet captivating. I don't think I've ever seen such a fortress. Mind the sun always helps to brighten up such scenery. Inside, I wasn't really bothered for pretending to care about old artefacts and artwork. However, even just to wander around the castle and admire the bold yet charming construction was more than satisfactory for me. Not to mention, there were some beautiful views onto the bridge and also overlooking the river. back at I think you say Piazza Bra something like that one of the main squares anyway where we started off this morning and as you can see it is quite a bit busier it's about 4 p.m. and the sun's out but it's also raining but it is still livened up quite a lot but I just want to say got some sad news so over my left shoulder we've got the Roman amphitheatre and then over the river is the Roman theatre so these are like two of the main attractions obviously and annoyingly both of them are closed on a Monday which is an absolute pain so, looks like we're not going to be able to see them, uh, but I can't show you everything. I've got to leave something either to the imagination or for you to come and see for yourself. 
So unfortunately that won't be in the video. But I think I'm gonna stop by somewhere. One of these bars. And another thing I haven't mentioned actually, as you can imagine, there's so many bars and restaurants, lovely places to get food, little cute cafes like Backstreet and stuff, which is lovely. I'm gonna have a stop off for a drink. And we've got quite a few more things to tick off for today. Um, so yeah, let's go. I think we've gotten away from him, but we're down this nice little back alley. I don't want to show you this. So it's something you could probably quite easily walk past. But right behind me here, we have got one of the old Roman gates into the city, which would have been part of the old city walls. Now I think there were two different walls built throughout the Roman period over different times. And this is pretty much all that's left of it. There is a gate over that way somewhere, but it has like this cover up. So yeah, I think they may be doing maintenance work or something like that. Hiya, are you Ben Robson? I am, yeah. Oh, I've just become a new member of your channel. Yeah, you haven't. I have. He, he's been following me all day and he's a member of my channel. Do you like it? Do you uh, like being a member? I tell you what, it's, it's well well worth the money. The exclusive content you get is uh, second what, to What that. are the odds of that? I tell you what, since you're a member of my channel, do you want to go around and explore the city a little bit with me? Yeah, sounds great. As easy as that. Let's do it. <laughs> Let's hope you didn't find that as uncomfortable to watch as I did. Moving on. I find myself at the famous house of the supposed Juliet, where masses of tourists flock to take photos with the iconic balcony. But they don't just take photos, they also rub her right breast for apparent good luck, which I wouldn't dare do personally. I'm no pervert. Oh no, I, I, I fell over, I promise. Tits aside, though landscapes aren't quite the same, they're still nice to look at. I meant the hill with the pretty buildings, not. Anyway, we move on to the other iconic Ponte Pietra Bridge, which originally goes back as far as Roman times. It offers some lovely panoramic views, but we're headed somewhere even better. Leaving the best till last, it's a short walk up the hill to where we find ourselves at an incredible surprise viewpoint. There were enthralling scenes over the city, but also a sneaky spot where you can gaze into the Roman theatre free of charge. But we best get moving, the sun's on its way down, so we climb a few more steps, and find ourselves at one of the most stunning cityscapes I think I've ever seen. just reached the top of the hill and what a place to finish the video with an absolutely incredible view I'll try not to fall off to my death but the views over the city as you can see are absolutely out of this world but of course if you come for yourself you've got to fit in the amphitheatre and the arena but just be aware that there are quite a few things including the arena and the amphitheatre closed on a Monday if you enjoyed this video click subscribe leave your comments down below as always they're very much appreciated come along on more adventures coming soon Ciao.